Hi all and welcome to this modding guide video for Return to Castle Wolfenstein, one of the best games in that franchise if you ask me. On this first screen of the guide I will go through some questions and by answering those hopefully I can make it plain to you if this guide is something that you're interested in or not. Let's get to it. Which version of the game will I be modding and on which OS? So I am running this on PC, Windows 11, and I will be downloading and modding the GOG version of the game. Which mods will I be using and what about the versions of them? Well, the main mod I will be using and the biggest one by far is the real RTCW mod and I will be using the 4.0 plus. I think the exact version is 4.0.13 and it's the latest big version of the mod and it was released in 2022. And on top of that mod, I will be using the Venom mod uniform and it's from a different mod altogether, but the Venom mod uniform bit has been made to work alongside the real RTCW mod. Where can these mods be found and how do we download them? Well, these mods can be found on two different sites and probably more if you look around, but two main modding community sites is where I will be going and it's the Mod B site and the Nexus mod site. And we will go through the requirements if there are any that you need to go through in order to download these mods on these sites. How do we put them all together? Well, when we have installed the game and downloaded the mods, I will go through step by step how you put all of these good things together into one working package. What can we do when the game is up and running? Well, many if not all of the good things about these mods can be handled inside of the game through the settings windows. So we will look on those pages together and I will tweak the game to run the way I like it. A lot of this will be individual because you might be running different hardware and you might have different preferences. But I will go through the pages available under the settings and uh, well that will give you sort of a inkling on what you can do within the game. So hopefully that answered some of your general questions. And now I think it's time to jump into the actual working part of the guide. Also, if you are enjoying this or if it helped, please hit those like subscribe buttons if you are so inclined. Now let's do this. And this page is the Mod B forum page. And this is a good place to read up on the real RTCW mod. And I have the page right here. So as you can see, it has quite a lot of information. It also has the download links right here. Uh, this is the one we will be using, the 4.0. They do have for additional languages and they have some add-on packs and they have a lot of information about what you can find inside of this package. One of the big things that they added in this big 4.0 version is that they put in a lot of stuff that used to be in enemy territory. And I should also mention that there are other places where you can find this mod, although I think this is probably the main place. But yes, I will be using this place to download it. And, and here you can see under files that the latest entry is the real RTCV 4.0. And it was added in July 23rd, 2023. So the year in which I am making this video. So if you click on it, you uh, will arrive at this page. And you can see that it is the 4.0.13 version and it's the full version. And then you have the download now link and it should work. So here you can either click to download or try another mirror. This should work. And this text only says that the download has started. So after a little bit of a time skip, we are here in my downloaded files. And as we can see, we have the real RTCV 
in the folder. So we'll just extract it all here. And it doesn't really matter where you have this. I have it in the downloaded uh, folder. Seeing as we're going to copy the content of this uh, map anyway, it doesn't really matter if you uh, put it someplace else, but feel free to do that if you are so inclined. So it even says in here what to do now. Copy the content of this folder into the RTCV root directory. And here we have all of the files. So the next step is to have the root directory. So here I have already done that, but let's go back in time and see how I installed the game. So I am using the GOG version of Return to Castle Wolfenstein, and I will not be doing anything fancy in here. I will simply be installing it in the default directory. You can put the game wherever you want. It shouldn't really matter, but I will do no fancy stuff. I'll simply install it. All right, welcome back from the installation part. Let's go ahead and do the transfer of the files. So just hover and select all of them. I copy the entire content and then I'll drop it in here. And it will ask you if you want to replace the files. And yes is the answer. So that's that. I also have another mod that I want to show you in this video, and it is called it is called the Venom mod uniforms for real RTCV 4.0. And it can be found on another mod page called the Nexus mods. And this form is a little bit different in that you need to have an account to be able to download things from here. It's not something that will cost you money but you need to set up an account if you want to have uh, content from this forum. So about this mod, uh, basically this pack contains German uniforms extracted out of the latest Venom mod update and copied to real RTCW. The mod is created for people who appreciate real RTCV's gameplay improvements, but prefer Venom mods HD versions of vanilla enemy skins. And I kind of want to have those HD skins. So I will also download this one. And I will use the manual download. And then do the slow download if you are not paying for the faster stuff. So after a little time skip, here we are again. I have the Venom mod here and I have already extracted it. Same thing goes. Um, you don't need to move this folder anyplace else because we're going to copy the content in here anyway. And the first thing here is for the skins. And the second thing here is a little, little bonus that we can see in the README file here. If you want to play with fixed subtitles, copy the localization as well. So I think it actually just fix some spelling errors in the subtitles. So I figured, why not? So once again, select the two files and either move them or copy them into the main. So the main folder here and drop them in. And then once again, you want to replace the files. So go ahead and do that. And there we have it. We now have the two mods downloaded, extracted, and the content dropped into the main directory for the game. So now we can start the game and see that everything is working and make sure to actually start the real RTCW um, exe file because they have others in this folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, and it will always tell you that you are trying to do something weird. Just tell the computer that this is totally fine and execute anyway. So we don't need to see the intro, but feel free to do that if you want to, of course. All right, here we are inside the real RTCW version of Return to Castle Wolfenstein. 
and we have a lot of stuff here and we'll look at some of them so options so the controls are probably not something we want to look into uh, here we do have some system things we can tweak so let's go in here so it has So it has a few, like normal quality, low quality, custom. Guess we could go with custom. Extra general textures. You want everything on as high as possible. Very much so. We'll just max everything out. And here we go, 1920, 1080, which is what I want. Dynamic flight, yes, it says sync, every frame, no particles, yes. Video folk time. Hide bodies, no, so they'll be there. And we got sound. Subtitles, yes. And apply. And you know what? Things look a lot more crispy now. So let's look into game options then. Check performance, engine, and visual settings. Weapon arsenal, rear RTCW. Rewards for secret areas, yes. Spawn dogs, yes. Spawn priests, yes. Spawn ex shepherds, yes. Additional enemies, no. Because that just adds a lot more enemies, I think. Bullet damage fall up, no. Enable strafe jump, yes. AI respawn, no. AI can do headshots, no. AI can fire rifles on the mo uh, move, no. So I think this is the vanilla version, uh, which I kind of like. Okay, enable HUD, yes. So we can tweak a lot of things here as well. And that's also one of the things that 4.0 added. So show blood hits, yes, show stamina bar, yes, show weapons icon, yes, show ammo icons, and show journal updates. And I think you can change these whenever you like. I'm not 100% on that, but I think you can. Crosshair size, small, solid crosshair, yes, no. So you can also do an FOV slider, and I'll push that to the max. Third person view, no, third person range. So that's not something that's gonna be a thing. All right, I think I'm cool with this. So as the last thing, I will start a new game and see that everything is working as intended. Start the campaign. Oh, and we have all of the missions already in place, but we'll go with the first one. And we also have the classic ones. Uh, we are only going to try the game, so I'll just go with Don't Hurt Me.
Well, Jack, have we heard anything? Yes, sir. We've just received a coded transmission from Kessler, our contact in the Chrysal Circle. And? Both agents have been captured and are being held in Castle Wolfenstein. Damn. Quarter meeting, Jack. Yes, sir. Your orders, Herr Doctor. Go and get the other one. This one is almost finished. Jawohl. Now, let's try it again, shall we? Who do you work for? So here we are in the game. We have, as far as I can tell, everything up and running. We have the HD uniforms, we have the upgraded graphics, and everything seems to be running smooth. So I think this room might be where we end off this gameplay version of the guide video. Everything feels pretty good, it looks pretty good, and it runs as it should. And the 4.0 version has been tested by quite a lot of people, so I think it is confirmed to be stable. And yeah, I hope this video helped you get the game up to this standard. Maybe you're reliving it or playing it for the first time, but I really hope that this video helped you get there. But that is all for now. Thank you all for following along in my guide video for Real RTCW. How to find it, how to download, how to implement it. Hopefully it helped you. If it did, I would love it if you hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I would also love it if I saw you again in future videos. But for now, it's time to say bye bye.